Hey, it's Eli AK Atlas, and I'm going to be doing something a little bit different for today's video. Uh, forgive the backlighting. We're coming up with some vlog ideas. I figured it would be kind of a nice idea to actually do a vlog style vlog for a change. So, um, also, you know, me being the kind of person who likes to, you know, be a little bit helpful, I thought it would also be a pretty good idea to uh, let you guys in on some of the hardware and software that goes into making these and uh, some stuff that I pretty much wish I had uh, <laughs> bought when I started making videos. So hopefully this can be that kind of a video for somebody. Um, I'll tell you a little bit of the story behind some of the um, stuff that I use and what I was using before what I'm using now. And uh, the video will kind of be in two parts. So first half of the video, Going to be doing a little bit of background in the second bit part of the video i will do a little bit of um show you guys prices on some of the stuff that i use to make these videos and hopefully somebody uh can uh, get some use out of it so this is probably not going to be the best looking video i ever make but uh you know who cares right <laughs> got my green screen up here i technically finished filming three videos uh, i think four videos and this might be the fourth otherwise I finished three and this will be the fifth, so I'll look at it later. Got my uh, ring light on right now. Beautiful day, not too hot. So what better place to start, of course, than uh, with the webcam itself. I am using, technically my brother got the uh, webcam for me. Um, actually, he got it for himself, but I use it the most. <laughs> it's a Logitech C... 920 webcam and uh, initially I didn't have like you know the microphone like this the lapel mic and uh, I was just using <laughs> the built-in speakers because they're actually quite good but um, you know I needed a microphone and everything to record better audio with um, I went on to Amazon right here and I can see that they still make the C920, but it's a, it looks a little bit different than the one I have, just like the logo changed. But if you guys wanted a pretty good webcam with nice quality, good color, you know, um, just turn the white balance off <laughs> once you get it in the settings. Um, it looks pretty good, so I'd recommend that. So shout out to my brother Aaron. I'll have his links and stuff down in the description or whatever. So shout out to him for getting that. Um, once we're once we're done with that, uh, let's have a look at what else we have here that I pretty much started with. Right now, I'm using a pretty high quality laptop and everything, but humble beginnings. I've gone through probably about like three or four laptops in, I guess, maybe a span of 10 plus years. So I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> it's just what happens. Um, I had a Dell Inspiron 1525. I had a um, Dell. 7, 15 or 17 after that. And I've had the HP 17 and that, uh, that all brought me to the laptop I'm using today, the Dell XPS. So I still have the HP right here. Um, I have the Amazon stuff pulled open. So you can have a look at the computer while looking at the computer, it's very meta. Um, here you can see this is the laptop itself my little workstation here. I got all my hardware and software. Got your papers and stuff right here, Rubik's Cube. So the computer was a HP 17, and that's what I did season um, two of the For Future Reference blog on. Season one was done on the Dell 15. So yeah, I went through about a, a different laptop each season. Technically, I believe. And they still, apparently it's currently unavailable, so they probably don't make these anymore, I'm assuming. And that's kind of what happened with that. Um, so I can't even give you the price on it, unfortunately. As far as the webcam goes, boom. So you can see, forgive the ring light at the top. So you can see, this is the kind of webcam I use. A little pricey. Um, I think it used to be cheaper. I can't quite remember, but. This is what I use. Again, I'll have the pricing and stuff um, in the corner somewhere. So 
That's what we have so far. And to the lavalier microphone. I used to use a different one. This one is from a really good company. I like their stuff, it sounds really good. Um, Mauno, not sure how you pronounce that. But uh, yes, I keep the packaging of almost all the stuff I buy. Uh, this is a Mauno microphone, lavalier lapel microphone. It's USB because I don't have like, I don't want to carry around one of those kits. Because they have, uh, you know, the lapel mics where you have the um, like sound recorder and the volume knob on it, which is cool, but I do everything on my laptop. <laughs> so I wanted a USB one and it fits the bill perfectly as you can see right here. Um, <laughs> camera won't focus and it comes with a nice little bag and stuff. I don't use it. Um, before that, before I was using this one, I used another one from a brand called Fifine. Um, I thought it was good until I got this one. This one is like top notch. I think the audio is really good, you know, top notch. If the audio is bad in many of my videos, it's just because I'm bad at editing audio, but <laughs> the microphone itself records really nice audio. This is the original microphone. So between the Fifine or the Fifine or the Fifi, you can uh, get this or you can get the, uh, I don't know. I would recommend the Mauno though. I guess the sound is just better. So that's what I'm using. And now we will get to the next section. I got a little bit of a funny story, I think, about my setup. Get the camera correct. Funny story about my setup. Right here, I have right next to me, I keep pointing to it, is the uh, laptop stand that I used to record the videos. And this is like, today was my first time using the stand because up till now I've been using a I don't know what you call it. I guess, um, I don't want to call it a pantry thing, but it's like a food pantry. And uh, <laughs> it's very, my setup is like super, super hood, super ghetto. I'd use the food pantry thing, just take the food off, move it here into the living room. It had a pretty good height, so it worked what I needed it to do. And uh, that was it. <laughs> but obviously, that, that that's not a great way to record, so I was able to, uh, they even make some money and I got this right here. So instead of showing you the website, which we'll do in a second, I'll just show you the uh, stand itself. Stand right here. Boom. Kind of cool. Um, simple, nothing too fancy. It's a nice laptop stand. It's like it's called a DJ stand. I think it's got a, um, yeah, it's a DJ stand. <laughs> it's got a tripod. Really fancy, it's, it's kind of heavy, which is good. I think that means it's pretty well built. At least that's what I think uh, heavy stuff is supposed to mean. And um, that, I guess that's currently unavailable too. But um, yeah, okay, they have related stuff. You expect to pay like 40 to 50 bucks for it. So that's not too bad, I don't think. I can already tell I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. I probably will never need to buy another one again. So I like buying things like that when you buy it once kind of set it in and forget it. Apparently I got the last one. <laughs> the next thing after that is the ring light itself. Um, I'm really happy and very proud about this one. Although it was a bit of a struggle getting it to make sense with my setup because I work with a webcam instead of like, you know, a Canon or a Sony camera or something. Um, I figured it out though. I used the, this, this ring light is like, I'm really happy with it. Uh, you guys kind of saw it a second ago, but um, Boom. To give the cords and stuff. And uh, yeah, before I was using this ring light, I was just using my little desk lamp. This guy. Um, oh. Just using this um, boot light setup. I'd have the pantry thing set up right here where the table is. And then I would have the. Um, Lamp right on the on the pantry, and then I'd put the laptop. Uh, this this laptop, I would put that on the pantry next to the lamp, and then I would just record. Familiar with my vlogs, you know that I have not always been using a um, green screen. <laughs> I used to just film in front of the living room wall, which worked for what it needed to do. Um, obviously, one of my friends told me I need to make it look a little more interesting, <laughs> which I had wanted to do anyway. So, invest a little money in a green screen. Let me see how much that one for. 
I can't find uh, what particular green screen this is, but you know, the, it's a green screen set and you can find them on, let's see, let's, let's find the price right now for how much a green screen set would cost. Yeah, 50, 50 to 80 bucks. Um, you buy it once, you're not gonna need another one. It's pretty solid, it doesn't tear. Um, it's like cloth, not vinyl, although you can get a vinyl one. I'm not sure if that's better or worse, but um, I use the cloth one. It's a little bit shiny, but not really too shiny. I always feel like there's the front and the back are like a different material, but I don't think they are. I feel like they are though. Probably not. Tripod's solid, comes with it. It's really tall. I'm not sure how many feet, but it's pretty tall. Taller than me. And um, I'm six feet, but it's like way tall. So probably like eight feet. I think eight feet, probably eight feet, nine feet. What'll break down of uh, the second part of the video, which like I promised, we're gonna go over the prices and the items and keep it simple. Now let's get into the second half of the video. Pricing, as promised. You can get yourself a nice HP laptop for the price that's currently unavailable. <laughs> you can get yourself a good Logitech C920 webcam HD. Um, it goes up to 1080p. Um, my resolution I'm recording this is 1920 1080p, 30fps. Get that for $159. Again, I feel like it was cheaper before, and this is an Amazon price. You might be able to get a really good, really uh, cheaper one from maybe Best Buy or somebody. Maybe you can get a used one, not quite sure. But that is the price, and that is what I use. Mauno lapel mic. Uh, you can get those for around the price of, again, currently unavailable, but I believe I bought it originally for around like 20 or 35 bucks. Um, around there, it's about the same price as the Fifine one, which I used originally, so same price. The Fifine is like $23.99, so you can pretty much get a decent USB lapel mic for around the price of $25 to $35, bucks. so you can count on that. The ring light I use is called Niwer Ring Light Kit, 18 inches, 48 centimeters, um, 55 watts, a whole bunch of other mathematics comes with the carrying bag for the camera, smartphone, YouTube, TikTok, self-portrait, shooting, black. <laughs> and uh, that was for the price of $99.99. All right, not $100, $99.99. And it comes with filters also. I don't use, I haven't used the other one yet, but it comes with the orange filter. And currently I have on it the white filter, I guess the default one, so I can just get a simple light and then I can color correct, do color correction. Uh, in my video editing software. And then we have the professional adjustable 32.3 uh, to 52 inch laptop DJ mixer tripod stand. I got that for around the neighborhood of 50 bucks, 50 to 60 bucks. You can get yourself a nice little laptop stand to record your videos if you are not using a like professional webcam with a tripod, which you may want to do. And finally, you can get yourself a good green screen kit with a tripod with a nice carrying bag, anywhere from the price of $59.99 up to like a hundred and something bucks. I'll say it probably cap it off at like $130. You really don't need to pay too much for simple green screen and tripod. Um, the material will probably be a preferential thing. I use a cloth, again, it works. Uh, it's got a bit of wrinkles, but it green screen, it keys out pretty nice when you use it in combination with the, with the ring light, so. That is kind of my software and my hookup. Things that I wish I had bought when I uh, started doing vlogs and doing videos, as opposed to using my pantry and the table amp <laughs> and uh, built in audio just to record. So upgrades, right? Yeah. A little bit of a different style vlog today. Just wanted to relax, not go too crazy with the editing of the things that I I've learned over the years. I've been looking at my um, YouTube. I guess I've been on here for almost like seven, eight years now. And uh, I've had videos that have gotten like 20, 50,000 50, views and videos that just get like 100, and 150, 60 views. You know, you just gotta make the videos because you like to. And personally, I have a blast doing it. So hopefully this video can help someone out. And uh, you never know what you're going to get. Put the work out there, people will check it out.
you never know what's gonna resonate. Hopefully you guys got something out of this video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and share. Eli AK Atlas, links to everything are down below. Like the video, all that good stuff. Um, There's probably something important I'll need to say, which I'll remember after I finish recording. But in the meantime, I shall see you guys later.